Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Chartreuse Leprechaun. My name is Mark, your host, and it's time for another episode of The Outer Worlds, where last time we cleared one quest for Liliet Sublight and, well, got another one. Found us checking out a space station where they were experimenting with Raptodon DNA in humans, and it, well, it didn't go well. We got threatened by UDL Assassin Squad that we bribed into leaving us alone and possibly managed to talk into becoming pirates? That was really, really strange. But I guess that's what you get when you take on side quests in this game, I, I, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, we're on our way back to Lilia to collect our reward, and then I think, well, I hope, we'll head off to Byzantium for Phineas and move the main quest along. I'm still wondering how many of these side quests we actually need to do. If, uh, if any of you commenters could let me know, I would appreciate it. Try not to do too much of a spoiler with it. Um, oh, right. I almost forgot. There's, uh, what was it? Ada said something. I think Parvati and Felix were having a discussion. Is that who it was? Anyway, two of our companions, and we are supposed to, like, presumably go check that out. So we'll see what that's all about. And then we'll head to, uh, where are they? We'll head to, uh, we'll go deal with the other stuff. Watching the aether waves last night? You know that slick looking spacer from all my colonists? They got her playing the queen of the marauders. Whoa, no fooling? I'm gonna have to catch that one for myself. Really? Uh, well, that was. I can't believe I got my own bunk. Ada made it seem like there was something really important important going on up here, but there's... Now, all right, well... Huh. Uh... That doesn't look good. All right, let's go see about getting to Lilia and, uh... Captain, I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. I'm glad to hear that, Ada. Uh, I'm still not entirely sure why that worked or any of that, but yeah. Uh, where are we going? Groundbreaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you, Ada. And... I don't think we're going to have... I don't know why I got in that menu. I don't know... Yeah, I do. I wanted to check the journal. Weapons from the Void. That's annoying me to no end. Review the Hephaestus Mining Archive on Hawthorne's Terminal? Uh, okay, we need to do that. Slaughterhouse Clive. Get him out of Sublight's way. Where is that? Monarch. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's back there. That's back there as well. Yeah, whatever. Faction Quest, the Ice Palace, Dark Cross Troopers. Oh, yeah, the Primal Glands. Cleaning Machine. Oh, jeez, that one's still. And the Empty Man. So, Byzantium, Monarch. All right, well, I guess we'll do this. And I'm thinking, not Felix, we'll keep Parvati and the Vicar. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And into sublight, head upstairs, and get our reward slash cut. I think that's what she called it on the radio, was come get your cut. Are we going to have to kill him? Hope not. Hi there. How are you? Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. Right. Uh, you'll also find some automech salvage. The base had scientists in suspension tanks. Some might still be alive. Have you got any more work? I'm not sure I want more work. Uh, but let's talk about the scientists. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Okay. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? Well, no, why not? We'll say it. I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. 
Aha. Uh -huh. I've been less than honest with you. I kind of figured. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. We might have figured that out already. No. Perception is locked. This about your cloak and dagger warnings. I'm listening. Hope it means I'm due for a raise. I'm listening. After the monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. Okay. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. Uh-oh. Yeah, bad news, I take it. The truth about the human tailbone. You had my interest. Now you have my attention. Um, yeah, sure. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. I'm guessing you have an idea. Maybe they were just hiding expensive research from pirates like Sublight. <laughs> that one's tempting. I gotta. I probably shouldn't, but I gotta. No, they were hiding something the colony isn't ready to know. Okay. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? I can try. Guess that depends on what we're talking about. This better be good. Yeah. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. Oh, God. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084. And who knows what else? What? We have to put a stop to it. <laughs> aliens? Aliens. Really? Say nothing. I think I'll say nothing. Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. Okay. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Oh, what have we gotten Captain, roped in into? Assessment, Ms. Hagen is insane. I tend this to agree with you. Feel it all right, Captain. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. Uh-huh. I assume you have questions. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, can I have a half a bottle of whatever it is you're on? A few. This is completely insane. Skip to the part where I get paid. I don't care what hallucinogens you're on. Yeah, that one. But we'll take the top one. If we're going to see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Oh, what am Now's I... the time for setting doubts aside. Right. When you say aliens, what do you mean? Enough, tell me what needs to be done. Yeah, we'll go with the top one. Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators. What? Assuming they haven't all been replaced. <laughs> this is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with halcyon biology to twist us, change us. Make us more like those monsters on Monarch. Well, you're partly correct, except that it wasn't the gas doing it. It was... Uh, anyway, I haven't seen any evidence of aliens. I joined Sublight because, well, I can do crimes, not save humanity. The little green bastards must pay. Right. I'll go with the no evidence. No kidding. That's how they want it. Of course it is. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet... There was only one possible conclusion <laughs> looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. Right. How do you know I'm not an alien spy on a mission to silence you? Enough. Tell me what needs to be done. I really don't know what to make of this. Ah, top one. Gotta. Gotta. Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. <laughs> only yourselves would know. Oh, wow. Well, that's comforting. Cross your eyes. We're coming to get you, Lilia. Enough. Tell me what needs to be done. I don't know what to make of this. Oh, I would love to do that one, but, um, yeah. Probably nothing to worry about as long as you don't start growing tentacles or slowing <laughs> down time. Well, funny thing about that slowing down time thing. I don't know what to make of this. If you don't believe me. Go pay a visit to the puppet master who's working against her own kind. What? Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. Now I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Aha! Sounds messy, but I'll take the job. Murder isn't covered under my contract <laughs> employment agreement. 
Why does Chartran need to die? I need to think about this. I'll bite. She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. <sighs> now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. No. When did Sublight get so principled? Your concern for the fate of our species is admirable. Um, yeah. It's cute that you think that about me. I just want to add savior of humanity to my <laughs> I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Right. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. Of course. Of course. Ah, now it all makes sense. Sounds messy, but I'll do it. Murder's not covered. Where does Chartrand fit in the alien conspiracy theory? The lab I passed through didn't seem that evil. Uh, yeah, let's do that one, because we can sure use the points. I think it's points we get for that, right? Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. Uh-huh. Sounds messy. Murder. Where does... Yeah, okay. Where does she fit in? We're far beyond theories. Ah! Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks. How much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. <laughs> she has access to the board. Unlimited funds and a colony full of sheep. Wow. All right. I uh, was so not banking on another side quest. Oh, do I think about it or do I take the job? You know what? Let's go here. Just think of it as salvaging hope from the smoking wreckage of humanity. <laughs> this is okay. your initiation into a future with sublight. Want a steady position in our ranks? Buy one with a bullet. Ah, is that how you do it? What do I get for joining up? Well, there's your usual fee. What else do uh -huh. you want to promotion? It's yours. Even better. I'll owe you one. Uh, okay. I wonder what that means. All right. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. More Byzantium, so yay! Right. You might not like the answer. Uh-huh. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Of course. Hey, we leveled up. Skill points. Yay. What do we want to do with it? I don't know. Um, you know what? Let's take that all the way up to 50. And then, you know what? We'll put the rest of it in here. It says I still have, oh. Yeah, okay, that works for that. And we got one left. Yeah, let's put it in sneak. What the heck? What the heck? All right, so we got that. Now, we're headed to Byzantium for all kinds of stuff now, right? Phineas knows Minister Clark's been hoarding. He's in Byzantium. Got it. The Chimera's last experiment. Eva Chartrand's home on Byzantium. Yep, okay. And then we got the primals, and then we got back at Roseway, Fallbrook and Monarch. Oh, we were there and we never, oh, nuts. Scylla for the primal hunting grounds. We got, a, oh, we got so much stuff. Slaughterhouse Clive is on Monarch, and that's on Monarch. Oh, I'm going to regret it, but we're going to do some more side quests. Okay, back to the ship. Okay. Oh, there was the term. Felix and the vicar are arguing again. Again? Are we going to actually have a conversation to do with this time? I was going to say we've got that thing on our terminal we still need to check on. Where are they? Here they are. You don't think that's a problem? The whole ship's running on a computer's fancy. Then I'll make you nervous, preacher. No, Felix. The concept of a ship computer does not make me nervous. Are you scared of Ada? I ain't scared of Ada. Good. I'm glad we cleared that up. It's just, she's a computer, Max. 
What happens when her equations tell her to cut off her oxygen or blast us all into space? <laughs> he's, he's not He's as conspiracy theorist as Celia is. Where did you get these ideas? I was watching true stories of mechanical murderers last night. Uh -huh. One of these days, I'm going to make you read an actual book. Wow. Alrighty then. All right, let's go see what this thing of this uh, weapons thing is that we were supposed to decode or read or whatever it was on our terminal. What do we got? Search the mining archive for keyword weapon. Uh, that Captain Soldier is something called a rearranger then left before we discovered the damn thing doesn't work. Only thing it rearranged is the number of bits in Harris's cart. <laughs> Looks like some strange tech. Result two from the site safety officer's first incident report. Doc uh, Caulfield couldn't save Lem. Now I got to arrest Harris for his murder. Confiscated that weapon he used, stored it in Bertie's office for now, figured the least the site supervisor can do is fill out the forms for whatever that damn thing is. Don't know how I'm going to detain Harris. Not like we got prison cells on this rock. From the coronary inquest. Lemuel, family name, Hereford, employment status, indenture, contract term. Cause of deceasement, blunt force trauma, weapon unknown, took a good whack to the noggin. The facial area to be specifical about it. Oh, wow. All scientific and everything. <laughs> it's all twisted up, too. Nose is five times too big. Jaw is shrunk to almost nothing. Teeth are all out of kilter, though I suppose that was true pre-deceasement. If the blow itself didn't kill him, there's no way he could have breathed with all that damage. So the rear ranger does work. Interesting. So what is that telling me? Messages for Fergie. I get my own messages now? Cool. Blaine. Oh, Jun Lee. Okay. E. Blaine. This is just to let you know, I've given out the rest of the you-know-what to the you-know-whos. Sorry for the secrecy. You never really know who's reading these things. Esther Blaine. I appreciate you giving me the time of day. You risk your neck heading into that community center. I'm grateful, but I'd also appreciate it if you never told a soul about our business. I like my job. I should like to keep it. Who is Blaine? I don't remember now. Oh, right. That's the dock we went to go find. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. Messages for Fergie Tennyson. Parvati, I don't do this ever, so here goes. Why is this on my terminal? It's from Jun Lee to Parvati. There's this engine, see, and it hums real nice, like a box of cats playing with mice. But she's coughing and hacking up sludge because there's a blockage that just won't budge. What's an engine to do? Then this wrencher strides in like a shark, hair all done up, fancy and dark. She feels a spasm in her compression alternator, Trembling, because it's aching to meet her. What's an engine to do? I've got, oh, five more standards mapped out, but I'm having trouble rhyming some of the parts, so I'll get back to you on that. What? All right. We were talking about old friends, you know, and I got to thinking about Isabel. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what she was thinking. We were a mess. A good mess, but a mess. I'm a better me than I was then, wanted you to know, even when I drink too much of the old family recipe. You're pretty swell, party tea. <laughs> Damn you, Insta spell check. Beat my wrench. <laughs> so Google existed back then, huh? Too tired, just got to put my head down for... Uh, Alrighty then. Why am I getting those? They're supposed to be going to Parvati. I don't know. All right. The question is, where do we want to go? We have a choice of a couple of side quests that are in the same more or less spot or a couple of other quests that are more or less in the same spot. Mining outpost on Skilla. Oh, we got two on Skilla. We got, oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, Amber Heights, I think was Monarch. We got a whole bunch of stuff on Monarch. I hate going back, but Terra 2 is where Byzantium is. Scylla was the primals and that other thing. 
Monarch, Cascadia, Fallbrook, Stellar Bay. Uh, we'll probably regret it, but let's go do this. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Uh-huh. Thank you, Ada. What is it we're trying to do here? We didn't get to Roseway. That's Scylla. Really? That's what I came here for? You know what? Scrap that plan. What the heck? We're here. We've still got to find... Uh, I forgot the other quest that's here, which is the one for the Vicar. We got to find uh, his buddy somewhere on Monarch. We'll get there. Let's do... Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's keep them. Oh, Phineas's contact. We didn't change that, did we? All right, so where is this taking us? Because it says he's in Fallbrook. We're in Fallbrook. Well, let's uh, find the scholar. 140 meters that way. Which way is down? Here we go. So there's a lot of guys around here with guns. Sublight thug. All the sublight thugs are here. Yay. All righty, so... All righty. Can't believe I'm still stuck in this law-forsaken town, but at least I think I may have finally found a spot with promise. Down the tunnel on the riverbank outside of town produced one nugget and two teeth. I wonder if I could find a dentist who'd pay something for the teeth. What? Sounds like Cheney's gone gold panning down on the river. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. Yeah, probably. All right, so... Where... Ah! 112 meters that way, huh? All right, well, let's go map. All right, so we got to go this way to get there. Okay. I don't like the feel of this. I don't. Oh, there's an actual person here, huh? Reginald Cheney. Hey, buddy. We were looking for you. Hi. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scienticians ain't welcome here. <laughs> you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. Wow. You're just a parasite living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. Uh-oh. Wow. Uh, what's going on? This guy doesn't look like much of a scholar. Care to explain? What are you doing? Let's all calm down. Not sure what's happening, but I'm always up for senseless violence. Please proceed. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go here. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Oh, wow. Sounds like a good idea. Go for it. You're going to give up everything you've ever believed in for revenge? Maybe he didn't know the book was in French. Why did you lie to me? Ah, uh, you know what? I like that one. I couldn't risk you not bringing me here. Uh-huh. It sounds like you have things to work out between you. I'll just be on my way. I don't think so. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Oh boy. Max, stop. It's not too late. Maybe the answer you've been looking for is in that book. I agree. He's just trying to trick you. And senseless violence is the best medicine. I mean, I want to let him, but no. no. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. There, that's sorted out. Weird hermits sound kind of flimsy to me, yeah? 
It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. Uh-huh. Well, Vicar? Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Alrighty, so... Take Max the Hermit on Scylla. Well, we've got two other quests to do on Scylla, so... Yeah, I guess we can do that. All right, all right. Here we go. Captain, could I have a moment of your time? I suppose. What's up, Vicar? I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. Oh, you're it welcome. It's been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. Violent enthusiasm. Interesting. Got the crap. You lied to me, and I want to know why. Never mind that. Why did you feel the need to lie? What was it like being in prison? Um, no, let's be blunt. You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship, and I used you to get to Cheney. Uh-huh. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. I understand we all get obsessed sometimes. Okay, but I'm watching you. You never lie to me again about anything. You are out. I don't think so. You're not welcome anymore. Um, yeah, we'll be the big guy. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. You better be. And we'll get that lore later. Let's go. I no. believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave cereal. I don't care about the latest Aetherwave cereal. I really don't. Uh, let's see. All right, so now we got three things to go to Scylla for, huh? We got, we got other stuff on Monarch, right? Empty Man, yeah, we're going to Scylla. I know, I know, I know. City in the Stars, Associate on Byzantium. Uh, that's on Scylla. That's here on Monarch. Amber Heights. Is Amber Heights on Monarch? I think it is. And then there's Roseway, which I don't even remember where that is. So let's see what this gets us. This is likely to be combat. So turn off the Vicar. Turn on Felix. Yeah, we'll go that route. Okay. Oh, 213 meters that way, huh? Well, shoot, we're right here. It was here in Fallbrook. Okay. Or, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Silly me. Map. Uh, kind of is. All right. All the way up the other end of town. You know, if it wasn't for all these people around here, this would be a nice place to loot. Ah. So it's not, it's just to the door. Great. So how far beyond the door are we going? Where's the marker? Where is the marker? Ah, oh, there, whoa. 500 meters that way, huh? All right. Oh, look, there's even a- I overheard you listening to Tossball. You a fan? Am I a fan? She asks. <laughs> I've been since the Rangers won the Tripacale crown. Right. Explain something to me. What the hell is the point of the six back? Oh, it's easy. See, the six back protects the fourth back from the eighth back. You want to think of the six back as your twelfth line of defense, yeah? Unless, and this is important, the game's in the third half. In that case, a good six back knows how to pivot toward defense in case the other team runs the field. I'm even more confused now. I'm just going to turn my brain off and try to enjoy it. Also the slogan of the anti Creole darlings. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look, somebody's there. Marauders, shocking. 
Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so shocked to find marauders there. Imagine that. Imagine that. Well. <laughs> Who we got? All dead? All right. Cool. Loot. All right. Moving on. Not all the good stuff off of them, I think. Oh, look. Manta, whatever that thing is. Right? Manta Queen. Yay. I think I want a different gun. What do we got? Don't like that one. Not sure I like that one. It's also not loaded. That's not good. Okay. So... Can we leave it alone? Oh, that's a road. We're eventually going to go down that road, aren't we? Probably. But for now, we're headed over here, I think. Did they spot us? No, they did not. That's a good thing. Now what? We'll go back to this. Who or what is here? What is here? This is Monarch. Wait, I thought the whole planet was Monarch. Oh, okay. So that's a scrap mechanical. Oh, hi. How are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Oh, I like his gun. So where'd the scrap mechanical go? We... Hi! How are you? All right, whatever. Oh, hi! In one piece? Corrosive weakness. Suffering too many corrosive... Corrosive burn? I took corrosive burn. Damage received plus 25%. But we get a perk. Yeah, I guess we'll take that one. And then, you know what? I think we're going to go back to tier one and get the weapon armor durability loss improvement. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that works. Okay, now loot. Uh-oh. Well, that was easy. A lot easier than I expected. Where are we going? We are going in there. Going to go find Clive. It apparently was busy with a Raptodon. A couple of them, actually. What else is over here? There's canids, there's something in there. Maybe that's just the wind. I don't know. But... Feral canids, yeah. Got him. Thanks, guys. Uh, 69 meters in there. Restricted access. Oh, great. So, what is this place? Oh, the Borst Factory. I remember now. How in the world do I get in there? Authorized personnel only. So, is there somebody I'm supposed to talk to? Auto mech? No, can't talk to that. Uh, how do I do this? 44 meters. Is there another way in? Check the map. 
doesn't look like it, but I guess. Oh, come on. Where did that one go? Well, that, that, I don't know what we were supposed to do there. Hopefully they didn't blow it. The whole quest thing. Uh, oh, I got a card. I got a key card. I guess that's a good thing. Uh, unlock with the gate key. Yeah, that would be a good thing. Looks like we're doing this. Oh, great. Got that one. Okay. It's just a little slow. I thought I was, thought this was a better gun than that. All right, loot. Vortex mace. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. We've got an intruder. Big mistake. Open fire. No. Uh, who? Open fire from where? You guys upstairs? Oh, there's one. Hi, factory employee. Factory employee. Are they bad guys? I don't know. Take that. We'll take that. What's up here? Anything? Oh, hi. Got that one. Got that one. Oh, I just killed a factory worker. May have killed two of them. Yep, two employees. I don't think I wanted to do that. Reputation decreased. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Well, shoot. I got to be a little more discriminating in my targeting. That's not good. Well... Again decreased? I didn't do anything. I'm not. So where's the guy we're looking for? Can I have that? I can. Cool. What is that? Factory ID cartridge. We'll take that. And I'm guessing... That somehow... That gets me in here. Any more bad guys? Doesn't look like it. All right. Restricted access, huh? Uh, 88 meters that way. Ooh, workbench. Authorized personnel only. Sealed, so we don't have the right thing. All right. Well. And again, restricted access. What? What was I stuck on? That was weird. Uh, open. Uh. Was I allowed access? I think I was. The terminal? What's on the terminal? Greetings, authorized user. The king would like to remind you to please clock out before documenting 
your daily shift in 15 minute increments. Don't forget to clock back in when returning to work for your next 23 hour shift. If you'd like to file a complaint, please immediately report to the king to receive an infraction on your performance. <laughs> line, line shift reports. What is this? Old files to be deleted. Shift report 084. 8 a.m. inspected quality 15. It says Seymour Clive. Oh, hey, that's the guy we're here for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. To be deleted. I don't want to say I told you so, but I did message you that writing was on the wall back in April. Did I not? Which, if I remember, is one of the reasons I begged you to please hurry in your decision making, which inadvertently and unfortunately stoked your ire at me for rushing you. But now everything I feared is coming to pass. CNP's abandoned Monarch with the others. The factory's in working order, but less and less of us keep showing up for shifts, because what's the point, really? Never got my last two bit cards for wages owed, which means I can't pay rent. Never got my last two bit cards for wages owed, which means I can't pay rent, Aggie, let alone sponsor your wastrel of a cousin's gambling habits. I know how you titter it away whenever I raise these sorts of concerns, but I'm not joking, Aggie. It's only a matter of time before I plumb out in the streets. What you're going to what are you going to do then? Keep telling me to wait? I can't. The next ferry is scheduled for Thursday at two o'clock. I'll be on it. I'd like you to join me. If you do, then I'll have your answer at last. If not, then I guess I'll have an answer the same. Either way, I won't be waiting for another month on end. See you at the ferry, I hope. Yours in heart, if not body, fits. Uh, okay. And who are you? Factory employee. Uh, wait, was I not supposed to come in here? I don't... Oh, right, 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 right. I keep looking at them thinking they're weirdos, but that's my people because we have that that disguise gadget. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, where are we going? Your uniform has been rated 64 meters that way. Yeah, whatever. Open that. And we're going down instead of Huh. Alrighty. Hi there, corporate guard. We're going 74 meters that way now. Alrighty. Uh. Something's not. You! Hold it! Just where do you think you're sneaking to? Production line is that away, you worthless gad about. Uh, oh, come on. You aren't going to report me, are you? Persuade. Lie. Family emergency. I need to clock out early. Out of my way or the next clog they clean out of the machinery is going to be you. Well, you know what? Yeah. Well, yeah, oh, okay. That escalated real quick. <laughs> I sure did. I mean it. Follow me at your own peril. Nope. That's all right. I'll just file into <laughs> I'm sure you will. I am on my way. Have fun. Uh, so where am I going? Am I going through here? Open. All right. I guess. And then this way. Oh. Okay. 51 meters that way, huh? All right. Uh... How do you go up? I'm guessing through that sealed door over there. Right? Yeah, need Clive's office key. But where do we find the office key? Well, nobody cares about their stuff. I guess we'll take that. I'm wondering if it's in one of these boxes. I don't know. We missed something somewhere because we don't have the key. Oh. Process report. Records indicate you have already been identified as non-standard personnel 
State your purpose. Oh, we're about to get in a fight, aren't we? Lie, I've been looking for an auto mechanicals to repair. My purpose is to destroy auto mechanicals. Persuade. Let's try persuade. I'm curious. Error. Binary detected. Binary has been deprecated since the invention of Anti Cleo's patented trifinary language. Trifinary. More bits for your bits. Right. Well, thanks for the update. I'll let my boss know. We appreciate your cooperation. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. Uh, we got to find Clive's key. Where would Clive's key be? I don't know. Uh... Oop, can't get through that way. We'll go this way. I mean, I, I find it hard to believe it's in one of these boxes, but you never know. We'll look. What is that? Don't ask me more about it. Not where he can hear us. Had to sneak this onto your data pad. Delete after reading. Just be careful. All I know is Tammy spied Slaughterhouse Clive feeding the Sisties some questionable meat. Awful bloody with bones poking out of it. Says later she found a hand in the trough. She screamed. Now Tammy's been downsized too. The pigs keep getting fatter. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That does not sound good at all. Uh, oh, but more bits. Don't care about bits. I want the key. Ooh, where's this go? Ooh. Terminal? Greetings, user canning machine. Performing a routine diagnostics check now. Engineering increased production by 200%. Ah. No. No, I don't think so. And there's no key card. Well, shoot. Alert. Oh, again? According to area records, this is your third offense. Please prepare for termination. Okay. You lose. Intimidate. You're going to need some backup if you want to terminate me. After only three offenses? That's a bit harsh. Alert. You're a worthless piece of tin. Prepare for recycling. I like that one. Must be some mistake. This is my first offense. Sure, why not? Error. This unit is 98.12%. Certain that you are lying, <laughs> which is a felony. Ah, uh, what's your certainty of charging me before I dismantle you? That doesn't sound like 100% to me. What if I'm innocent? Yeah. Processing error. This unit has exceeded its maximum allowable error tolerance. <laughs> wow. I was sure that was headed to a firefight. I was positive that was headed to a firefight. Oh, we got another level up there? All right. Is that the same place? I think it is. I don't know. Uh. Ooh. We totally missed this door. Open? I didn't like the sound of that. Uh, standard trooper helmet gold. Terminal. Maintenance logs hacked the pink slip protocol on Sentry Automax. Really? What did that do? Commencing strategic restructuring of all factory personnel? Authentication of authorization required. Password. Authorization accepted. Commencing restructuring of all factory personnel. What does that mean? 
What did I do? Let's call the elevator, I guess. Elevator will arrive. Remember, when meeting with the king, do not initiate conversation, avoid eye contact, respond respectfully when addressed, and above all else, do not provide any provocation for which to be canned. Oh, that's a nice twist of words. Where do we find the elevator? What was that? Oh, there... Ew, they're eliminating people. Huh. Fit cartridges. All right, so... Sealed. All right, so we're not going that way. Uh, so where's the elevator we just called? Oh. You know what? I don't like you. Got that one. I got one. They apparently got the rest of them. So any workers should theoretically still be alive. Maybe. So where's the elevator we called? We called an elevator somewhere. Where's the elevator? Is that... Oh! Is that... Oh! Okay, so we didn't need the key card. We just needed to call the elevator. Restricted access, authorized, personnel only. Well, today... We're... Not disguised anymore. Wonderful. All right, going up. Lock and load, gang. You're not locked and loaded, gang. Hi there. Whoa, now. And just what do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. Ah, Seems I caught you off guard. I'm not here for a tour. You've got blood on your shirt, right? There. No. Lower. Uh, yeah. Let's go there. Certain things require a mess to do well. Uh-huh. See, I was just killing sometime. I uh -huh. to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody borstwurst. Right. These parts are from Sisty Pigs? I do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of borstwurst. Uh-huh. On occasion, I like to imbibe other parts of the Sisty Pig. Right. Did you fancy me a cannibal? Perish the thought. No, I don't eat the bodies. I disappear. A joke, that last was. Right. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. Well. Uh, I'm not saying you shouldn't vex this guy, but... If you do, it's been nice knowing you. What? While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Uh-huh. Let us move forward with the present proceedings. Uh-huh. Sublight sent me to kill you, but I'm sure we can work something out. Please don't take this personally. I should go. You know what? Let's try it. By Sublight, you mean Catherine, do you not? Greedy star-crossed sow. Uh-huh. friend, the Borst King of Monarch does not negotiate with coveters. How about you bring me Catherine's severed head, and I will gift you a lifetime supply of Borst. Oh, boy. That sounds wonderful. What have you and Catherine partnered up? Two great empires combined. Good deal. I'll kill her. Uh, you can choke on your lifetime supply of borst. I'll think it over and get back to you. You know what? Let's just end this thing. Piss. And I had hoped it might not come to this. Yeah, well. That's the last of them. Yep. Deal with Clive. What else we got? Clive's office key. Now we got the key. Key. 
All right, so what do we got on the terminal here? Personnel files, personal files. Let's go there. Dictation 0561081113. Who would have thought it? Am I right? Whole factory ripe for the taking, none the wiser save for me. And now the king, I reckon, who is also me, but different, better. I know it ain't wise to be so fanciful, but it grows so lonely. Just me and the pigs and the machinery and now the king. Wait a minute, who's the king? I thought he was the king. The others will come soon to work for me. The laborers got to start small. Then we'll build and we'll feed and we'll feed and we'll feed. Huh. The king can scarcely believe how well, how awful fine it's all gone. I came from nothing, but now I am a self-made man, rich in meat and money beyond what one can believe. Power and privacy are mine. Everything I ought ever to desire is mine except for and the king. He may not have been with me from the beginning, but he was the first to arrive. He kept me from being alone. That is for true. Don't think I could forget nor escape that fact. Think I got it. Any personnel, and I don't care if they be a line worker or the janitor or the star's damned sisty pig, will tell them to call the king by his rightful moniker and do it properly. None of this slaughterhouse Clive pig shit, or I'll show them a slaughter they won't ever forget. Did I make myself clear enough? Yes, marvelous, that ought to do it. Wow, that's a... Who is the king? I don't know who or what the king is. Huh. Oh, this is all steel. Steel? Oh, come on. Ordnance control helmet. Oh. All right, so... I thought he was the king. All right, what's in here? Aha. Uh -huh. This is... Huh. All right. Um, going down. Monarch Wilderness. Wait a minute. I think we went out the wrong door, or at least a different door. Where the heck are we? That's a good question. What is this? The door is sealed. Uh, unseal the door. All right. Uh, why do I have a feeling this is... Met guards. And not attacking, but they're showing red. Huh. Can we fast travel? Nope. Not while... Near hostels, which would be these things. Fantastic. All right. Um, all right. On me, folks. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good job, gang. Let's take all that, and we'll come over here and we'll take all of his stuff, and then we will fast travel back there. That was all the stuff we had to do here, right? Slaughterhouse Clive. Go tell Catherine it's done. What was the other one in, in uh, Monarch? Now I don't remember. I may be wrong. This may be the only one. Okay, well, let's go close this out. Head back to Fallbrook. We'll run in here and tell Catherine the good news. She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long as you don't mind being in her debt. She's about as welcoming as a wrench to the face. And half as tender. Ouch. Hi there. Probably going to regret doing this, but... Please say the Oda corpse you're wearing is Clive's. Ew. Slaughterhouse Clive is deceased. I've heard all I need to know. What? Huh. Not much boast to that declaration. Am I to take that to mean you didn't kill him? 
Oh yeah, they say discretion is a virtue. How many knuckleheads did you send to murder him? Of course it was me. Does it matter? He's dead. Yeah, we'll go this one. You ain't wrong, but I prefer a woman of vice myself. Uh-huh. Still, this ought to compensate for your troubles. 7,000 XP. You stink like sissy pig. 21,000 XP. 2,100 bits. Oxy, yeah, okay. I uh, found one of your sublight supply runners hiding in a cave. We did. I'll presume you mean Arthur. The one you sent scurrying back like a sprat with his tail cut off? Reckon I'm happy he's alive. I'd be happier if the marauders who botched my drop were dead. Ah, all right. Well, that's enough for me. Bye. Okay, well, we at least cleaned up a couple of things on our on our on our list. So I'm going to head back to the ship and uh, we'll pick up there next time. But yeah, we uh, kind of a convoluted little uh, episode this time because we didn't really. What is that? Oh, Phineas's contact. I'm going the wrong way. Ships over here. <laughs> Perfect. Just perfect. The perfect end to a really strange episode. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, set yourself up for notifications, all that wonderful fun stuff. Sure don't want you to miss any of this craziness. Uh, and if you feel like supporting us, if you would. Uh... Well, I want to thank you for spending your time with us here today at the Chartreuse Leprechaun. As always, it's appreciated. Do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, set yourself up for notifications so you don't miss anything around here, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you like, what you'd like to see, things we can do better, because we would like to get better, and we appreciate your help doing so. And also, if you feel like supporting us, check out the links in the description below. But no matter what, no matter what, always remember, the Leprechaun is out there to mess things up, to confuse things, to just throw monkey wrenches in everything. It's what he does. He does it to you, to me, to everyone, everywhere, all the time. So remember, if you see something and you can't quite figure out what it is or how it happened, you can be positive the Leprechaun did it. Now you have yourselves a great day, a great week, and we will see you here next time on The Chartreuse Leprechaun. Bye-bye.